Welcome to the first production diary for The Power of the Ring, The War for the Ring. By releasing these production diaries, I plan to provide my fan base, so to speak, with an in-depth behind-the-scenes examination of the workings behind this low-budget student movie. <laughs> as this is the first production diary, and as we're about 50% through the filming, I felt it appropriate to quickly delve into the production so far to give a quick behind-the-scenes look at the problems and the endless delays that this uh, film has encountered. 2007 was a major year for the production of The War for the Ring. I had been able to um, secure a few days with my co-star, Gabrielle, who's my cousin, who plays my wife, Megan, in the movie. After all her scenes were shot, I decided to work really hard in the production, hopefully get it finished, and I, I set aside a, a uh, tentative release date which unfortunately was not meant due to unforeseen scheduling difficulties, troubles with filming. Basically there were a lot of delays and it's too complicated and boring to go into. And 2008 was when the production was hindered by a lot of things. I couldn't get adequate cast members available, I couldn't get adequate crew members. Basically no filming happened throughout 2008 at all. And 2009 is the year I want to make this movie. I have rewritten the script thoroughly several times. A lot of major sequences have been rewritten. A lot of major sequences have been reimagined, reshot. And this brings us to April, May of 2009, during which a lot of filming has taken place. In April, I managed to secure a number of days during which I had a uh, dedicated crew member at my disposal. We shot a lot of minor sequences. Before moving on to shooting a reimagining of one of the uh, major action sequences of this movie. Now shooting this action, action sequence was extremely grueling, to say the least. Action. <laughs> oh, fucking hell! This is um, behind the scenes shit. I just threw a fucking glass at Callum. He's dead. Oh my god. Look at it. It's, the shit's under the table. Oh my god. This thing almost hit me in the friggin' head. Wow. Awesome. Fucking god. I'm gonna fucking kill you now. I have had glasses thrown at me. I've had fucking glasses pulled down in front of me, I've had broken glass all over me, I think I probably still have remnants of broken glass on me, I've got fake blood, I've been dirtied, dirty floors rubbed up there, I've had fake blood all over me, it is grueling, it is absolutely grueling, it's, it's a really good thing that I love filmmaking, it's a good thing that filmmaking is my passion, otherwise, well, I'd probably be having a pretty terrible time right now. In the past few days, the uh, one of the biggest stunts of the movie, a stunt where I jump off the roof, was uh, was reshot. So yeah, that was a very interesting day. I uh, procrastinated a lot, had the cameras rolling, and so I stood on top of the roof. First shot, up there about 20 minutes on-screen procrastination for eventually jumping which was a disaster of a jump for save at least 
So, I reshot it again. Luckily, this was the best of the batch. Now, this weekend, I'm traveling back to my uncle's place, so I plan to do a few more reshoots and inserts for the major action sequence that, that uh, transpires at this particular location. So that's uh, production diary number one. Keep watching and I'll continue to keep you updated on uh, behind the scenes workings of the power of the ring, the war for the ring. See you next time.